We are live. Good, Brittany. All right. So today, what we're going to talk about uh, are is manipulating. complex numbers all right so what mr. Davies briefly talked about was natural numbers natural numbers is the numbers you would think of if somebody told you to count to 10 you would start at 1 so it does not include 0 counting numbers not including 0 Um, real numbers are any numbers on the number line. And that includes rational, irrational, integers, and, ca and natural numbers. Um, and then imaginary numbers. The basic unit of imaginary number is i, and i is equal to the square root of negative 1. Um, so anytime you take the square root of negative 1 or anything that can be factored with negative 1, you have an i. And as you just went over, a complex number is a plus bi. Um, a is a real number. B is the real number that was factored out of the imaginary number. It's called a coefficient. Yes. And then I is the square root of negative 1. Um, so if we were to start by simplifying the square root of negative 25, um, we would start by factoring out the negative 1, because any time you have two square roots multiplied by each other, you can multiply what's inside the square root. So you have square root of 25 times the square root of negative 1. The square root of 25 is 5, and it is multiplied by the square root of negative 1, which is i. So your answer is 5i. All right. Any questions? Is this making sense with the factoring? OK. So then, moving on, we would start with square root of negative 9, you get the square root of negative 1, square root of 3, mm -hmm. and then you have minus 2 times the square root of negative 25, you have your 2, you have your root 25, and you have your root negative 1. Brittany, I think you need square root of 9. Oh yeah, square root of 9. Well, good though. Do you know me? How many times do I make mistakes? <laughs> You're great. So square root of 9, is 3 and then you have i because you have the square root of negative 1 then you have 2 times the square root of 25 which is 5 times i and this simplifies to negative 2 times 5 is negative 10 times i negative 10i 3i minus 10i gives you negative 7i All right, so right here we have parentheses showing two complex numbers, but there is no multiplying or dividing, so no specific rules apply. So you apply, so you add the like terms. So you have a two and a four, which are real numbers. It gives you six. And then you have your imaginary numbers, three i and five i. So that's six plus eight i. All right? OK. So now we have two sets of complex numbers. 
and they're multiplied together. So we have to FOIL. And start with the 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times negative 3i is minus 9i. And then you have 2i times 5 is 10i. And then 2i times negative 3i is negative 6i. Squared. Squared. Yeah, i times i. You guys see the square i times i, i squared? Mm -hmm. okay. Alright, so 15 minus 9i plus 10i is plus i. Minus one i for 6 i squared. And 10. And then i squared is negative 1. So negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6, and that gives you 21 plus i. Okay, so i squared, i squared is negative 1. i squared is negative 1 times negative 6 is 6. You guys see that? All right. So now here we have a negative root over a negative root. So you have the square root of 25 times the square root of negative 1 over the square root of 50 times the square root of negative 1. Um, I wrote that really big. So you have 5i over, you can factor this to 25 and 2, no. Yep. Yeah, 25 and 2. So you have your 5 root 2 times your i. And then 5 over 5 is 1. They cancel. i over i cancels, and you're left with root 2. 1 over root 2. Oh. Now, can you have a square root at the bottom? No. No. And we'll fix it later. Keep going, Brittany. We'll talk about that later. You're doing great. All right. So, now we have 7 over 2i. So, it's like the same rule. You can't have an i in the denominator. Turn my phone off, sorry, guys. Not supposed to have an i on the bottom. It's just the same thing as a square root. Alright. Red? Yeah. yeah. Alright. So to get rid of the i on the bottom, you multiply by i. Fix the problem with the problem. Remember me yes. saying that? So i i times i is negative one. Two times negative one is negative two. And then you have seven i over negative two. I squared, negative 1. Yes. And then, down here we have I to many powers. And the pattern that Davies went over was I is the square root of negative 1. I squared equals negative 1 i cubed is negative i. Mm -hmm. And then i to the fourth is 1. So when you're doing this, you're going to want to factor out for a multiple of 4 so you can get the closest answer. So if we factored out i4, we would have i4 times i3. i4 is 1. 1 times i cubed is negative 1. So your answer negative is... Negative 1i. I'm sorry, Brittany. There should neg be negative 1i. Oh, yeah, there's an i. Negative 1i. All right, so i to the seventh mm. power is negative 1i. So right here we have 26. The highest factor of 4 is i to the 24th times i to the second i squared. I to the 24th is 1 times negative 1 this time. This time it's actually negative 1. So 
and then you i to the 26 is equal to negative 1. All right, now we have i to the negative 10th. Anytime you have a negative exponent, it is the reciprocal, so 1 over i to the 10. And i to the 10 would be i to the 8th times i squared. i to the 8th is 1 times negative 1. So your answer is negative 1 for i to 1 over negative 1, so it's still negative 1. All right. Questions before we move on? All right. So now we're going to rationalize. Can I find a denominator? Yes. So to get rid of i's in the denominator, when you have complex numbers in the bottom, you multiply by the reciprocal. Conjugate. Re conjugate. Sorry, my brain. Okay, I've got the degree in math. You're getting <laughs> conjugate. Fractions. Which is the opposite, isn't it, pretty? It is. So conjugate would be the opposite of this. This gets rid of cross products. So 4 minus 2i. I'm going to stop for a second. So the conjugate of 4 plus 2i is 4 minus 2i. It's the opposite yeah. sign. Brittany's going to show you why it works. So you do that to the top and bottom. All right. So for the top, we have 3 times 4 is 12. Minus 6i. Yeah, Lauren. So you wouldn't make the um, 4 negative or anything? No. No. Uh, no, when you foil it, you're going to see that everything's going to cancel because those are opposites. Yeah, so this is your numerator now. And now you foil. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times negative 2i is negative 8i. 2i times 4 is positive 8i. And then you have 2i times negative 2i, and that gives you negative 4i squared, which makes it into a positive 4. i squared is negative 1, so the i is gone there, right? Negative 1 times negative 4 makes a positive 4. And these cancel. i's are all gone. Whoa. And you're left with 16 plus 4 is 20. 12 minus 6i over 20. You have to write it as two separate fractions because you need it as a complex number, real plus imaginary. So you have to break it up. So mm -hmm. good, Brittany. And then you can factor out a 2 out of the top and bottom. That's not how you write factoring, but factor out a 2, and then you get 6 minus 3i over 10, and that's the simplified answer. Yeah, I'm going to add one more thing to this, okay? Okay. You're doing great. So we'll go back to this. has to be a real plus measure. You guys see this? Go back to this. So Brittany's going to rewrite this as 6 tenths minus 3 tenths i, so it's a real plus oh. or minus measure. See that? Does okay. that make sense? you got to keep them separate. Okay, keep going. Doing great. I've taken pre-calc and calc one, and we haven't used imaginary numbers. Probably not. <laughs> no, they're not used very often. All right. So now we have our big numbers again, so we are using the conjugate again. The conjugate of 5 minus 3i is 5 plus 3i. So, you know, multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate. All right, 3 times 5, 15. 3 times 3i is 9i. And then 2i times 5 is 10i. 2i times 3i is 6i squared. And then you have 5 times 5 is 25. 
5 times positive 3i is 15i. And then negative 3i times 5 is negative 15i. And then you have negative 9i squared. And this becomes a positive 9. Square root of negative, square, i squared, sorry, i squared is negative 1 times negative 9 is positive 9, okay? Yes. Keep going, Brady. And then simplifying, you have 15 plus 19i minus 6. So the i squared is negative 1, right? And then you have cancel. Then you have 25 plus 9 is 34. And then 15 minus 6 is 9. So 9 over 34 plus 19 over 34i. Nice job, Brittany. Everybody give a round of applause. Woo, that was hard to do, huh? That's